Hi, I'm Manuel, and today I want to show you um, how to achieve this kind of photorealistic bokeh or depth of field in your uh, 3D application. I'm using 3ds Max and V-Ray. I'm here on uh, V-Ray GPU 5, but it doesn't really matter. You can basically use any rendering engine. All these modern rendering engines have the ability to you know, uh, implement depth of field. And uh, most likely um, a way to um, use custom aperture maps or change the um, the shape of the bokeh uh, procedurally. So let's say we have this nice fella here. Uh, we have this nice uh, 16K HDRI, which I got from uh, Pauli Hayden. So, okay. Let's say we want a rendering of him. By default, um, if you switch on depth of field, by the way, I'm using an extreme um, F number here, it's 0 0.3 to really only have this much of focus. Anyway, switching on depth of field. Um, this is nice. It's nice, smooth. Or um, in, in V-Ray, we could um, customize our bokeh, you know, give this uh, five five-sided blades, which is going to make it more interesting already. Um, we could we can rotate the blades. We can we can do something like this here, center bias, um, go really really high, and uh, have this kind of bokeh and um, put in some optical vignetting, uh, which I recommend not using um, too much. If you, if you do it like this, like two or three, you're going to, you know, I mean, this is a nice effect, but you're going to lose the background. So something like one works. Uh, it's going to distort the whole uh, background. And we can use uh, anisotropy, um, something like uh, 0 0.8 or uh, minus uh, 0 0.5, for example. So we already have a lot of options to, to get a nice bokeh shape, but we still want more, right? We still, there could still be more things done. So I have this uh, Aperture Maps uh, collection, 95 textures. Aperture maps, and um, there's a lot of uh, different aperture maps to choose from. Um, you can probably find other aperture maps online, um, or you can draw them on your own. But to achieve something like this, um, with the uh, imperfections in, uh, in, the, in the aperture maps, you would put the, um, the aperture maps right here. You say bitmap aperture map aperture and then right now I have this so this has some kind of dirt on it it has some kind of uh, a color defect and you just drop it in there here um, by default I think it's 512 uh, bitmap resolution I have 3000 uh, pixel bitmap so I go as far as I can, put in 3000. 2048 is the maximum. And as you can see already, um, we have a little bit more of uh, detail here. You can see the fringes here. And it's really a lot of fun to play around, take different kinds of, of bokeh shapes, like something like this with a very strong uh, chromatic aberration put it in there and you can see there's color changes going on with the dirt and the inside dot in here. You can have really, really nice photorealistic bokeh. Because in real life, no, no lens is perfect, right? Changing this to 55, nice. And the optical vignetting works here too. So we put it on one get even more um, aberrations i like to up the vignetting too 
but you can do that in post. But it plays into the depth of field and uh, change the look too. And try out another map. How about this one? The flare. Wow. You can see the colors are changing drastically because we have color in, in the map. If you don't like this kind of color, you can always um, put a color correction map before that, desaturate it, and then you only have the shape and you keep the original colors. And that's it for getting more realistic bokeh. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you will send me some of your renderings. Show me what, what kind of bokeh you are uh, like to implement. Thanks for listening, get in touch and subscribe to my channel. I'll work hard to produce more tutorials for you and give you the best information to get the most beautiful and photorealistic renderings you can achieve. Bye bye.